Are you thinking about building your own natural home? Chances are you've heard of hempcrete as a potential solution and for good reason. But what is the real story with hemp? Is hempcrete really the magical material everybody's talking about for natural homes? In this video, we'll break down hemp building materials, hempcrete, hemp lime, hemp insulation, covering all the benefits, the R value performance, product types, and all the pros and cons and costs of using hemp in residential homes. I'm Christina and I have been working in a sustainable home design for over a decade. I have explored many different natural building methods and materials, and I have experienced designing homes with bamboo, compressed earth blocks, and straw bales specifically. Based on my experience, I believe that hemp has a lot of merit in the building space, and it definitely deserves more attention. If you're new here and you're looking to design and build your own resilient home, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. We are all innovators here, so I do invite you to head down to the comment section below and share why you want to build your own home. I'd love, love, love to hear your story. Hemp is really incredible. It grows fast. It's just a few months from seed to harvest compared to the decades of traditional timber. And while it's growing, it's not just producing biomass, it's actually helping heal the land. Hemp is known for phytoremediation, which means it can absorb toxins and heavy metals and chemicals left behind from years of pesticides and fertilizers making the soil healthier for future crops. Then there's the inner stalk of the plant, which is called the herd. Its structure is full of tiny little air pockets, which make it surprisingly effective as an insulation material. Those pockets slow down the heat transfer and make it a great natural way to regulate indoor temperatures. Like many other plant-based building materials, hemp is carbon negative. It actively absorbs CO2 while it grows, locking that carbon into the material once it's harvested. That means instead of adding to your carbon footprint, it's actually helping you offset it. Add that to its durability and its DIY friendly nature, and you start to see why people are really hyped up about using hemp in their homes. And then when you mix hemp with lime, that's where the real magic happens. Because lime is highly alkaline, it makes the finished hempcrete antifungal and antimicrobial. So that means that your walls are highly resistant to mold and pests are far likely to be a problem in these types of walls. So yeah, hemp brings a lot of benefits to the table and I'm really just scratching the surface here. There are so many other benefits as well, but is it truly the magical material everyone claims it to be? Or are there a few catches that you should know about? So let's just dig in. So hemp lime versus hemp bats. So when we talk about hemp insulation today, there are really two main types. There is hemp lime, also known as hempcrete. I use them interchangeably, but hemp lime is actually a better word for it uh, because that's what it is. And then, so there's hemp lime and then there's hemp bats. So just to give you a little context, this is what a hemp bat looks like. Um, you can see it's very fibrous. This fits really nicely into a wall. You can cut it really easily. Um, so this is what a bat, a hemp bat looks like. This is a hemp block. Um, and you can see this is heavy, can't press it down, it's rock hard. And so this is hemp lime. It's just hemp mixed with lime and it's cured. So for insulation, hemp bats really do win because they come in at about an R 3.7 per inch, while hemp lime averages uh, between R 1.6 and R 2 per inch. So that means with hemp lime, you'll need a much thicker wall to get the same level of insulation. And then there's the ease of insulation. Hemp bats are super simple. You can cut them, you can fit them right into your framed wall assembly and you're done. Hemp lime, on the other hand, is slow, it's labor intensive, and it honestly ends up costing more and sometimes 30% more in just labor costs. So what's the verdict here? Hemp bats are really great for renovations or more conventional framed buildings or even high performance homes because of their high R value. 
Hemp lime tends to fit better for people who want a slower, more hands-on build, and they're really wanting that full natural building experience. So just a few things to keep in mind. Hemp lime is not structural, so you will need a framed wall, and in some cases, metal strapping. So just keep that as a consideration when you're pricing these systems out. And if you're in a seismic zone, it does have the potential to crack because of the lime. It's a mass wall, and I don't recommend and mass walls in seismic zones. But hemp lime really does still stand out. Even with all those trade-offs, hemp lime has some really unique advantages. It can be made right on site, and it can also sometimes even use local agricultural byproducts, which keeps the resources in the community and contributes to a more circular economy. The challenge does come with curing itself. So cast in place hemp lime it needs time to dry. So sometimes a couple of months, depending on your climate. If it's too cold and humid, it's gonna take forever to cure. I don't mean forever really, just it's gonna take a long time. If it's too hot and dry, it can crack as well. So that's where the hemp blocks come in. Pre-manufactured blocks are cured in controlled environments, which give you more consistency, fewer risks, and a much faster install. I'm a big fan of hemp blocks. Um, if you can source them in your region, it's a great option. Personally, I think hemp veneer blocks can be a really exciting solution as well because they can act as exterior insulation on your framed wall in the case where you might want to have your exterior finish be a plaster, uh, I think it's a great, great option. So with the blocks, it's a great way to have that natural look and performance of the hemp lime without having that slow, unpredictable curing process on site. So hempcrete isn't perfect, but it's still a really strong option if it's within your budget and your building preferences. And as more pre-manufactured solutions hit the market, it's becoming even more accessible. So have you explored hempcrete and other plant-based building materials? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're excited about. Okay, so with all those solutions, really checking the boxes, what is the trade-off? Everything has its pros and cons and hemp is definitely no different. So let's start first with growing hemp. Yes, it only takes three to four months to grow to maturity versus Douglas fir, for example, which takes 40 to 60 years. But hemp is technically an annual, not a perennial. So because of that, it means that it can be really hard on the soil if it's not managed carefully. So because it pulls so many nutrients from the ground, farmers have to rotate the crop right away or risk depleting the soil. In other words, while hemp is fast and renewable, it requires thoughtful crop rotation and soil management to really make it truly sustainable. So this isn't really a deal breaker. It's just hard to know what practices the farmers are actually using. So for example, it can be you know a challenge to ensure a particular field was using organic fertilizers and properly rotating crops. Okay, like I mentioned before, hemp is well known for phytoremediation, which is awesome in many cases. It's ability to absorb heavy toxins from the soil. So this makes it especially useful for restoring farmland that has been sprayed with pesticides and chemicals like I mentioned. By drawing those contaminants out of the soil, hemp makes way for healthier future crops. But this strength also comes with a trade-off. Because hemp absorbs what's in the soil, the quality of the harvested herds can vary depending on the land that it was grown on. Fields with a long history of a fertilization and chemical inputs may leave residues in the plant material itself. And then on top of that, since commercial hemp is often blended from multiple sources, consistency can be really difficult to guarantee. So as a result, there's sometimes concern about formaldehyde in the hemp building building products. Hemp itself doesn't naturally produce formaldehyde, but it can still show up in VOC testing, unfortunately. So we're constantly trying to avoid formaldehyde in our homes. It often shows up in things like particle board, insulation, and household cleaners. But with hemp lime, the VOC situation is often mitigated because once the hemp herds are mixed with the lime, the lime binder actually mineralizes or 
petrifies the lime and then it locks it into place. So lime is naturally antimicrobial, it's alkalizing, which does neutralize toxins and can dramatically reduce the risk of VOC emissions. So once cured in the lime, VOC output is really negligible. So if this is a concern for you, hemp lime is a great solution. You may not want to go with the hemp bats because of this reason. During construction, the big concern isn't really VOCs, it's the lime dust. So always wear a mask and gloves when you're mixing and filling in the cast in place forms. It's a smart safety solution overall, so do that as a pre caution regardless. While there's some ongoing debate whether or not the soil contamination actually carries through to the hemp-based products, the consensus really is that sourcing from trusted suppliers and using lime-based binders really does make hemp lime one of the safest natural building materials available. So to wrap this up, hemp lime does have a few cons, but a lot of them have workable solutions. Overall, it's a really solid option if cast in place or block hemp lime fits within your budget. You know, you just have to keep in mind that these systems do run 30% more expensive than conventional building materials. Now, if you are designing your own hemp lime home, I do have a couple of resources for you. First of all, I put together a free guide, the Resilient Property Planning Workbook, which really helps you through the early stages of designing and building your own home. If you're going through that process, that guide is definitely for you. So please check out that complimentary gift in the description below. And second, the Hemp Lime Illustrated Guide is an awesome resource if you're looking to have the actual hemp lime building details. Things like stud layouts, different exterior cladding, and plaster options. Plus, all these details actually line up with the brand new 2024 IRC Hemp Lime Code. So you can grab that in the description box as well. I would also love, love, love to hear from you. So have you seen or thought of other creative ways to use plant-based materials in your home? Let me know in the comments. I really do enjoy reading them and hearing fresh ideas. And finally, don't go anywhere because you can check out this next video to dive deeper into resilient building strategies for your future home. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.